Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Look at the back with another exciting video tutorial. So, in this video, we're gonna create uh, all your cookie, and we render it uh, with a really basic and easy physical render setting. So, as you can see here, this is a final scene. So, I also add this scene in description. You can download this in file, but it's paid. So. That's, but I also mentioned our uh, texture you can download texture for free so let me show you what we're gonna create here so as you see already in thumbnail and I will show you so we can create this kind of scene so I don't know how it looks like but it looks cool to me so I'm just this is a fun project I'm doing it for myself so let's start so here we go first we go with Oreo basic modeling I just speed up the modeling step so you can see what I mean there is a two step you can create a uh, Oreo cookie so we just take a simple cylinder and make it a little bit down okay here we go and now we just take another cube here and there we go And what we can do here, we may give it fillet, or we don't give it, we just and we just scale it down already. We just add a fillet object, a uh, fillet on that. You and a little bit more subdivision and like that. So here we go, and we size it up a bit. So now we just simply array these this cube here let me show you so, so we just add it in the null object and we now go here and add an array so we just center it CSR radius like this and now we increase our copies as you can see here we get the basic shape but I don't go through all these steps uh, we say uh, what we say details uh, steps I already created this one as you can see here this cookie is really detailed so it take a lot of time to create this cookie so I don't go in really deep so I just give you a little uh, hint how you can do that so I just create this cookie and we make it smaller Sorry. like this now for inner so what we do here for inner part we create a simple texture uh, inside the Photoshop, you can create this uh, or you can download from the description. So, this is only a basic Oreo shape I uh, uh, which I created copy by Oreo real Oreo cookie. So, I just trace that uh, pattern and now black and white and little bit blur as you can see here. I add a little bit blur for a soft edges. So now what we can do here you can there is a two way one if you use third party renderer like octane or archive you can use a uh, uv mapping with a uh, displacer uh, displacement map but i use uh, extrude ma uh, extrude nerve for making this shape so let me show you what i mean let me fix it we add a more 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 copies there we go so just add about 
tac, tac. We just make it smaller. We just go on the top view for make it a cell here inside. So as you can see here, we are using vectorizer for creating a basic shape from our. Don't worry about this edges. We just go in vectorizer and tolerance is zero. So as you can see here, it gives you a more clean look. So our pattern is ready we go on top view for alignment so this look perfect align for me so okay no not that way so here we go okay that's looking okay for me now we just add extrude here you can convert it into a uh, editable so we just press c and make it as a fine and now we add extrude so as you can see here it's a really high dense so don't worry about that we can fix it later we just add a three or you can do anything else okay that's looking great for me so i just add a more segment to our cylinder and now what we can do here we just make it editable uh oh sorry not array Blender, make it editable and we just like this little geometry and make it like that it's a bit down so here we go I don't know uh, I don't remember how it looked like in real Oreo but I'm just creating my own Oreo so what we can do here our scene is ready our model is ready so we just uh, make a volume and uh, build a volume builder we just add it into a volume builder for make it more realistic so here we go we just take it under volume builder as you can see here our cookies now look as good so what we can do here we just change the voxel size from 10 to 2 or you just this take a lot of time we just take it to 1 so as you can see here it's a uh, really mess up it's not look good so what we can do here we take it out and make a little bit bigger let's slow down my computer because of this shape this have a lot of what we say a lot of uh, vertex so don't worry about that so uh, if you are familiar with the uh, illustrator you can create this shape from illustrator and take from there in Canva 4D it's really easy but uh, I'm using a texture so that's why it's a little bit hard so now we just take it a uh, 3 for not so here we go okay now tweak it to 1 let's see how it's okay so that's li looking okay for me you can work it on a little bit more if you want so now we just add a volume measure so this is our basic cookie now here we go our cookie is ready to eat mm, kidding. so as you can see here our cookie so as you can see here our cookie is ready so 
so let's turn to our render settings here so what we can do here first we duplicate it for make it the other part okay so we make it duplicate for our second part we create a slender simple slender for a cream inside cream So as you can see here, our cookie is ready. So, but we need to fix with all settings. We need an alignment settings here. As you can see here, it's not a perfect align. So we just do that. We just reset the PSR. So now. There we go. So now we go to a texture. Now we add some texture for our cookie and tree. So for cookie, we just simply use a black texture with little bump, noise bump. So what we can do here, we create a new texture with the name of uh cookie texture and we apply it on our cookies for cookies so now we just simple give them a black little bit black color sorry like that now we add a reflection so it's really important we add a reflection with a fernal dielectric and tweak up the roughness to round about that 56 to 50 percent and we decrease the reflection because we just need a minor reflection like as we see in uh, as you can see here we have a little reflection in our cookies so we just try to give them uh, that kind of reflection now we have reflection now we need a noise bump noise for our audio okay now we have a noise mark and we just convert it to a fbx noise fire so it's a fire just trick it to three um, if we render it as you can see here okay so I think I turn on the global illumination so we just add a sky with the HDRA texture we just turn off everything else illuminance so I do I have already HDRI texture now we just rotate it to the back side like now if we render it so let's see how it looks like So as you can see here we have a simple audio texture so we need to make it a little bit bigger to our cylinder because we need to speed like that. So now we create a cream texture. 
so we use uh, I have this ice cream texture so I'm using this one so so now we just add it also in the displacement map don't worry it give you a really cool re result just uh, tweak it a bit black up a little bit more So that's looking great. We add a little bit of subsurface scattering. Okay, we just go in effect, add uh, subsurface scattering, and change it to a cream piece like this one. And here we go. Let me see how is my okay. So now if we render it, so we have a displacement map on our cream. Let's see how it looks like. As you can see here, our cream is not looking really perfect. So what we can do here, we just uh, turn on this sub polygon displacement, and we just tweak the height a little bit down, like four. And let's see how it looks like. So our cookie is ready.
जी खोल गया